Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to try to understand about uh, what's called BOID uh, devices. That's nothing but your Azure registration devices and also something called Azure AD joint. So we will try to understand and its differences. So if you see the architecture of the registered devices, the left side is the registered devices. The right side uh, architecture is a simple uh, design for the Azure AD maybe you can also extend here with the ad connect that's uh, your on-premises devices or your on-premises directory services also will be synced with azure ad now so if you look at uh, the left side one uh, azure active directory so if let's say you have a bring your own device that's your own device corporate uh, not a corporate owned device but it's the device that you want but you wanted to uh, log in uh, to azure resources to be you know accessed let's say you wanted to work within uh, collaboration of your company for some reason let's say you are working from home so you are using your own personal device so in that situation you will be registering that specific device so that's called it as your registration would happen of and those devices called BYOD or bring your own devices. So in this case, it's a BYOD laptop and also mobile devices also can be enrolled. So what would happen is uh, if you want a full level of control and full level of management, you definitely need to have a uh, device management solution such as the Intune and Intune will uh, fully control the devices like let's say wipe up or resetting and uh, device inventory application inventory application installation remotely all that can be done including the patch management and operating system deployment with the help of autopilot so these all things can be done with the help of microsoft intune which is you now part of endpoint manager uh, solutions uh, if you want to learn more about intune you can enroll in one of my course which is uh, you can check out my profile and look for Microsoft Intune training or system center or maybe endpoint protection manager specific trainings. So now with the specific topic, bring your own devices, will register your own device within Azure Active Directory and you will have very less uh, level of uh, control because you don't own the device that means uh, the operating system all that would be a different so you need to isolate your environment uh, to grant the applications let's say you can apply the conditional access or application protection policies all that um, can be configured even when you're trying to when a user is coming from bring your own device uh, you can ask them for by securing a multi-factor authentication all that can be possibly configured uh, within these configurations now when we when it comes to the azure ad join uh, it means that uh, it doesn't matter whether it's azure ad or maybe on premises so that uh, device will be registered in your a directory services let's say if it is hybrid that means your on-premises device uh, will also join as we have seen in the previous demos the same device will join to your on-premises active directory as well as to the azure active directory so all the resources will be automatically accessed um, without need of any further level of uh, problems because the device is completely owned by your company that's your corporate will own the devices and again uh, for the management you can use here like as SCCM or maybe Intune uh, fully managed all these devices so that's where it's going to use the devices let's uh, go and quick uh, have a look on a quick a quick look on the differences so this is a very good slide but uh, it still matters to us and if you see here the registered devices are user owned devices that means it's not owned by your corporate so where is the joining when you are joining that means it's fully joined by your corporate devices let's say your company purchased maybe iPhones for users to enable the mobile devices so that the users can be more productive from anywhere in the world so in that situation you will be owning that device so when I say device it can be a mobile device or it can be a laptop or a Mac device that your company own or maybe somebody owns in this case the user owns so 
that's what uh, about the registered and the joining phase and coming back to the registered devices so we will definitely uh, will allow from 8.1 as a date uh, because soon it's going to expire when 8.1 and the windows 10 and android and ios also can be managed uh, so the how the users will log in if you you know think in that point of view users will log in with their local account in on a registered domain but the but the device will have the identity because we have just registered so it will just check for the whether the specific uh, services enabled or not in that situation it will uh, go and validate if really needed to be followed any of the conditional access or any other policies all that will come uh, since the user is uh, registered that specific device and also authentication um, basically it happens with your pin or your pattern or passcode that's set by the end users not by the uh, your corporate uh, corporate identity management server so whereas here if you look at here uh, it can actually support uh, starting from windows 10 and corporate user will only will be able to log into the device uh, when the when the device is considered as a join that means the users account is coming from your azure active directory so the user whatever you created and the password he will be using that user id and password to log in and also the authentication is fully responsible by your azure active directory or maybe in this case maybe your on-premises active directory but uh, you would be able to log in with your uh, own identity your corporate identity but here uh, it would be mostly the use it would be definitely your local identity of the user whatever he said uh, for the pin or pattern or password and f coming back to the intune management yeah definitely uh, you have the very little bit uh, of management capabilities that can be performed on the intune management side whereas joining you can do fully uh, fully manage all the device so full intune management is available as i said intune is now completely gonna change the product name to microsoft endpoint manager uh, or MECM or ME, MECM uh, which is a new naming convention so if you're interested you can go back and learn about the Microsoft Intune for the devices uh, for the management so which covers the mobile device management as well as the your on-premises device management so that you can control your applications hardware inventory patch management operating system deployment with the help of autopilot all that can be configured so if you just wanted to know uh, know how to register as well as the configure you simply have to go to the settings of the device and go back to accounts this is my windows 10 device i'm just trying to uh, i try to log in as my local id so what would happen is if the user goes to uh, access work or school and then he can connect so this is where if you try to enter directly user id not on joining this device or to the local active directory that means he's just registering the specific device so as soon as you're registered you can configure within the intune about your on uh, about auto enrollment that means the device management capabilities also can be enabled automatically but in our case we are not doing that because we don't have intune uh, as part of this course syllabus but uh, in general so you see here i'm just entering the user id password of azure active directory it's gonna register the device within azure active directory so now it's fully successfully registered so what would happen with this so if i just go back to azure portal and azure active directory here you can go back to the devices and see the devices that are registered so in this case uh, as your ad registered domain is this so the account is completely registered and you can check the specific device uh, is enabled and operating system information is a joint so joint type is as your ad registered and uh, the user is tony and the MDM is this is where if you have already Intune or any other uh, third-party Intune similar applications like VMware works workspace all that can be managed from here and if that Intune management is 
enabled it will come as an intune and if all the policies that ever that whatever you configure like application configurations all that it will come up as a complaint or not and register date all that if you just click on more information about the device you get as a basic hardware inventory information here including the bitlocker key if at all you configure bitlocker policy uh, to manage the device from microsoft intune so this is the device ID, object ID, operating system, joining, all that MDM capabilities. And this is where the BitLocker ID will be, you know, coming up if at all you have configured your device for Intune management. And uh, let's try to delete this account and uh, wait for a minute and see uh, what would happen uh, if I try to disconnect this completely and uh, try to join in Azure AD what would happen let's try to join the same computer this time instead of entering the email ID I'll say that join this device to Azure Active Directory so what would happen so I'll just enter the Tony ID same ID and uh, this time similar password and you see here it's coming as my organization name and uh, welcome to my company name because I did configure the branding information or the organization uh, seamless experience for the branding information for the users so i'm getting that configuration you can check out that uh, specific lecture if you have not yet gone through it and make sure that this organization is uh, you're going to join so and you're going to type of the account is going to be administrator to me becomes and simply join so this would take a minute or so to join and post to that i can lock off uh, switch account that's what it says that switch and sign in with the Tony account so I'll just sign in and if you see here this time it's a different icon altogether and I'll just log off or I'll just you know do the restart of this device and try to log in now the mission has started now it's time for me to log in with as other user uh, in this case with the Tony ID so I'll simply type here Tony ID and the password of uh, Tony's so simply type the password here instead of entering I'm just using the typing password with the help of Hyper-V and you see here it takes some time and later point uh, Tony able to log in and in the meantime let's go back uh, while it is logging in I'll just go back to the devices same view and see the difference this time so I have the device and this time you see here as your edit joint type is and uh, it's a registered and all remaining options are same but if at all you have the intune you can do more by uh, configuring some kind of uh, intune policies and also you can go back to the users uh, and select the Tony account and go to the devices so that we can we can come to know that how many how many devices he will be owning so in this case it's just one device which is Azure AD joint so in the past it was AD registered now AD joint so that's a major difference and we talked about that and now the VM is fully operational I just logged in with that account right and I can open up maybe an application let's say my uh, applications or microsoft.com if at all I have any of the applications that are configured for Tony account uh, he should be able to see from the my apps that's how it's gonna work so that's a major difference I hope this entire demonstration is useful for you to understand better about the Azure Active Directory joint as well as the uh, registered uh, configuration and if at all you need to have more control on those devices then you need to choose any of the MDM solution in this case Microsoft Intune is the very good opportunity for you to learn and that's where the world is moving and if you're interested you can go back and check out a course which i have already created and published in Udemy course thank you